This tutorial covers the Convert to Sheet Metal Part feature and will show you what this feature is and how to use it when designing. The Convert to Sheet Metal Part feature allows you to create a native Libre Design sheet metal part that is based upon an existing part. This is a parametric design feature, so when the original part changes, the converted sheet metal part will automatically update. The file to be converted can be a native Libre Design part or sheet metal part, an imported file in a neutral format, or a CAD specific format for SolidWorks, Solid Edge, Pro E, CATIA, and others. There are three ways to open the Convert to Sheet Metal Part feature. One, from the main menu, under Feature, click Convert to Sheet Metal. Two, from the Sheet Metal toolbar, click on the Convert to Sheet Metal icon. Three, Right click in the workspace and select Convert to Sheet Metal from the pop up menu. Here's an introduction to the features in the Convert to Sheet Metal Part dialog box. After this introduction, a file will be imported and converted. Design allows you to browse to the location of the file that will be used as the base of the sheet metal part. The tab box will display the name of the initial planar face being used as the tab. Reverse thickness toggles the side of the sketch on which material will be applied. You can also adjust the thickness of the part as well as the default radius. The bends box will contain a list of any linear edges that will be changed into flanges. The replicate sheet metal part option is used when the base part has cylindrical edges that were flanges. This will automatically detect and populate the dialog box with the thickness of the part and all of the radii for the bends. The RIPS function allows you to use an inserted sketch line so the resultant flange is ripped. This will be covered more in depth after part is imported in a few moments. Bend allowance defaults to the K factor option, which is an Alibre design material parameter. Overrides of this value will affect all bends in the part. Selecting the unfold length option allows you to apply the same unfold length to all bends. And label allows you to name the converted sheet metal part. To convert a part into a sheet metal part, bring up the Convert to Sheet Metal Part dialog box. Since the imported SAT file is now in an Alibre Design Part file, click on the Alibre Design Files icon. Double click on the part name to select it, and click on the top surface of the part to select it as the tab. Since this part has the main characteristics of a sheet metal part with a common thickness and filleted edges, the Replicate Sheet Metal Part option is clicked on. When this button is clicked, the thickness, flanges, and bend radii are automatically detected and populated in the dialog box. Click the OK button, and you will have a native Libre Design sheet metal part. You may be finished at this point in the process, but there are still some additional items that can be manually tweaked. Since this is now a native sheet metal part, it can be manipulated using the sheet metal tools. Additional flanges, dimples, or cuts can be added or it can be flattened by clicking on the flat pattern icon. If you change your mind, just click on that icon again. Editing a converted part is as easy as right clicking on the part, selecting edit from the menu, and adjusting values in the dialog box. In this instance, the thickness is being changed to 188 thousandths. Press the enter key or click OK when done. Rips can be added to the end of a flange during the initial creation of the convert to sheet metal part, or when the conversion feature is edited. Rips are mainly used for terminating flanges. No other flanges are based upon it. First, select the Use Sketch button, and then select the planar surface on the model where you want to place the rip. Click the Commit Sketch button after your line or lines have been sketched. When you click OK and exit out of the Convert to Sheet Metal dialog box, you will have the completed rip. To remove the parametric design ability between the original part and the Convert to Sheet Metal part, right click on the Convert to Sheet Metal part in the Design Explorer and select Explode. Please keep in mind, this explode operation cannot be undone. This tutorial covered the Convert to Sheet Metal part feature, showed you what this feature is, and how to use it when designing. You have learned how the Convert to Sheet Metal Part feature allows you to create a native Alibre Design sheet metal part that is based on an existing part.